All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweshai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation unto the elect, and peace and salutation unto all the Akim doing the pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. Shalom. Now, um, this goes into a conversation, you know, um, at camp, you know. So I said, beware, Satan is always lurking, okay? Here it is, I'm getting into the scriptures and, you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And then Satan sends a distraction up there, okay? This female, this uh, female that I... Yeah, she came to camp, I think, like two years ago. Okay, well, two years ago. And I think she came a couple times. Okay, maybe once or twice. Maybe even three times. But the, the, the point is, okay, she came up there before. And I could sense something behind, you know, her coming up there. Okay. It wasn't just about the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. There's something else, you know, lurking behind, you know, um, her coming up there while I was reading the scriptures, right? So, you know, and it's not no boastful thinking. It's not no um, paranoia or, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> as I say, narcissist, you know. It's not like that. It was just something that I picked up in the spirit and, 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 you know, sensed, okay? And I'll tell you why, because, you know, she came up inquiring about the word and want to hear about the word and this and that first time, second time, same thing, whatever. But this time around here when she came up again, she's saying that she was Catholic. So I said to myself, well, all this time I've been breaking, breaking down these scriptures to you. And you've been, mm -hmm, yeah, that's, oh, okay, true, all right, you know. So I'm saying to myself, okay, here it is, I'm breaking these scriptures down to you. But at the same time, you're not, like the scriptures say, you're not taking it in. And my spirit has sensed that, you know, she might be an Israelite, okay. She might be an Israelite. Because I remember she broke down who her father, father's side, and all this stuff. And so she comes up and she comes up today again, whatever. And when she comes up there, she's, um, you know, hey, how's it going? Da, 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 you know. And the conversation this time around really wasn't, you know, she wasn't really trying to bend it. To the scriptures, to God and all this stuff, right? To Yahweh, right? She was more in the content of getting personal, okay? Like, how's it going? How's, you know, like, what are you going to do later on? Like, kind of, I'm not saying she said that, but the, the conversation would have had, you know, would have eventually ended up in those quarters. So I'm sensing to myself, here it is, you know. Because I could, I could sense with the conversation how it was going, where she was gearing it to, okay? And we're not out there to pick up chicks. We're not out there to be YouTube stars, none of that. We're out there to look for the elect. And the individual that came up after, I'll tell you about him. That's what I told him. Because he had asked, he said, well, what are you guys doing out here? Or what are you doing out here and all this stuff? I'll get into that later. And uh, so I sensed that she was getting more personal, you know, to ask for a phone number and link up later on type shit. OK, I could sense it. I could feel it. I'm not I'm not fucking stupid. OK. And, you know, she 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 all right. She she's OK. I'm a man, you know. <laughs> so here it is now. As I'm sensing this thing, I'm like, these people. They really don't care about this word, man. They got their own hidden intentions, okay? So as we're talking out there, and I could see where the conversation... I, I, I kept trying to pull the conversation 
towards the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And this is all Satan, man. This is all Satan. Because before she came up, it was all smooth writing. Getting the word out. Okay? And that's what the whole conversation or topic at camp was about. The word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai being the true treasure. Okay? So... You know, forget women, forget cars, forget all that. All, all those amounted together, all the gold, silver, whatever. None of those can compare to Sophia. So, you know, all those things got a time stamp too, an expiration date. So I was going through that, and then at about the 49th minute, that's when she came up, 49.50, somewhere around there. <coughs> and, um, you know, she wanted to go down memory lane type shit. And, you know, I start to sense, you know, this conversation is lame. This ain't nothing to do with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So I start to bring in, because she was bringing out, oh, it was hot, humid, this and that, whatever, Ray, right, Ray. Right. Tried to steer back to the conversation the most high, and then this guy came up. i seen him before. Circling, circling. And then while we were talking, okay, and and I've seen him before. Like, honestly, I've seen that guy before. So as we're talking out there, I got the camera there, the signs there, the phone's in my hand, the Bible's on the, you know, um, chart, right? And me and her are conversating. And then this guy comes up and talks about he's a Catholic and this and that. I just want to know what you guys are doing here, you know? Uh, I, you know, I just want to ask a question about this and that. So I said, okay, you know, this, this is what we're, I'm doing out here. I'm out here looking for the elect. You know, if you help us, Shimei Oshai, you know. In other words, this is this is my job. This is our duty. This is what we're all here to do, bring the gospel. So he says, can I ask you a question? So I'm like, okay, go ahead. Then he starts talking about something and then like vocab slides into something else and as you know Satan is working on multiple levels as he slides into this something else talking about this something else right I start sensing to myself like he's not even really really out here to ask me no questions he's kind of out here inquiring about this female okay that's what he's kind of inquiring about and this is what Satan will bring about. Sorry for the long talk. I'll, I'll bring the conversation to a cut real quick and get into the scriptures. But this had, this has to be said. Because okay, these are things to be, you know, aware of and beware of, right? So as we're conversating, he's going into some shit that happened to him, you know. And it's going extra long. It's kind of going long. Because I said, you know, get to the point, man. You know, I had to tell him, like, look, I'm doing something here. You know what I mean? And you, you need to get to the point because, you know, this, this this long talk, we're not into that, you know. And eventually I just told him, hey, man, go to the side, okay, because I, I could sense what you're here for. You're here for the chick. And I'm here to, to really sincerely ask me a question about what's going on, okay. You're here for the chick. So just go to the side, get the chick's number. Because she was looking, to my, you know, sense, she was looking for something. Sunday night, hot, humid, want to go home, you know, and get that, you know, get that uh, funk, that burn off, you know what I'm saying? So I, I could tell. And every time she came out there to the camp, I could tell that's where the conversation, she keeps going deeper and deeper into personal Instead of talking about God and all this, the introductory was God. She was crying on the ground. She she felt her feet and started crying, you know. All of that was just a show, you know what I mean? All of that is of Satan, okay? And all of that, I say this to say that because I, t I told the individual, get to your point. And then he shows me a picture of him in, I don't know where he, he said somewhere he's Catholic and they do this thing in Italy and... And then they, uh, to celebrate something, they let off three firecrackers, 
and oh, I didn't even. It's it's on the video. You you can hear it. Okay. He comes in around the fifty six mark or something like that. You keep watching. You you'll see. Um, the hour mark or whatever of the uh, camp video. Okay. So he goes into this and then he shows me a picture. This was the thing, because the Hawa Bashimi Oshai will do these things just to, you know, give us an affirmation or a sign or whatever. Because that's why exactly what I was going into too. You know, a wicked and adulterous generation, they're seeking after signs. We have faith. We're walking by faith. And long story short, that's what actually this, you know, whole thing the Lord was showing me that, look, this individual is faithless. They need sight. They need to see something, you know, for them to get it popping, right? And we came in by faith. Faith coming by here in Romans 10 and 17. So, he shows me this picture, and as, we sh as he shows me this picture, I'm not even going to lie to you, Akim. It was a picture of Yahweh Shai. It, it was how we depict, I even said to him, that's how we depict the Lord. It was a garment on him with fringes on the side, and the garment was like brownie orange. And Yahweh Shai was... Um, looking up towards the sky okay his face was looking up towards the sky and he had a white beard so when i seen that i said to myself i should have took a picture of that you know next time i see the individual i'll take a picture you know but I, I was like what the you know but that was for me to see he don't understand what's going on he's saying jc jc you know so long story short you know, Satan will do these things, you know, bring you into these conversations, and they're all going into love, 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 you know, so I'm like, no, I know, I know what, what, what God you're under, what idol you're under, okay, so let's get into these, uh, you know, that, and that whole thing right there was a big distraction, because no edification was coming out, just a big, long fucking story, and then the, the, the chick before, same thing. I felt shame. I was like, fuck, hey, man, what the fuck? I'm not all here for this. I'm all here to, to, to push the word. Y'all go over there, because I told him eventually, yeah, y'all go over there. I'm going to just do do what I have to do, man. Because this, no, this is not edifying nobody, okay? So always beware. Satan lurking, okay? Distractions at camp. And yeah, Satan will use the female, okay? The weaker vessel. Alright. We go to Job. Fuck it one second. Job chapter 39, 17. Because God have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Okay? And this is a scripture actually I should have read first. First Peter chapter 3 and 7. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them. According to knowledge, give honor unto the wife as on to the weaker vessel. And when you go back into Job, and she is the weaker vessel. She's not um, set up like man. Job 39, like the Israelite man. Job 39 and 17, because God have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding okay so these, these chicks out here they're on a different level satan controls them man uses them okay and she was out there looking for buddy because what happened is when this guy i shooed them to the side you know i'm talking as i'm talking i see her looking at me and then pulling out her phone right i'm like bitch I don't, you know, like I'm not your man, okay? You do whatever you want to do. But I know what that was. That was Satan once again. Eve, you know, uh, Eve being decisive. Let me get your number. He got Mercedes, you know. You out here on the streets pushing this word. You know, I came up here for you. I want your, your you know, your junk. So... You know what it is. 
So she she saw me, and I just kept on pushing the word, and she tackled his number really quick, put her phone back inside of the, uh, you know, inside of her purse thing, right? And she thought, you know, oh, this guy, he, you know, let me take his number, let me get his number. So I could see through her. I'm like, bitch, you think I'm not wise to what you women, you think I'm not hip to what you're up to? Okay. So, in all actuality, you could see that Satan was using this chick, okay? Because that's what happened. It came as an interruption to camp. There was no edification going on there. And her being the weaker vessel, not a part of that understanding or wisdom, you know, she's susceptible to her feelings, right? Really susceptible. Emotional. She went to go uh, get a, a, a new thing for her window because her cat keeps busting through the window. So whatever else is going on inside of her house, bills, whatever, you know, down there a little bit dry. You know and I mean, dry season right now. She's trying to get something in her bedroom. You know and I mean, who knows? But she's a weaker vessel. And obviously, we already know these women are highly emotional and that crotch be on fire season because what they say hot girl season this that you know you, you know the queen of heaven worship type thought so you know you see it right so while i'm out there i know that this 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 war that we fight here is not a physical war we're warring after you know things that you cannot see this is a spiritual war, okay? Though we be in the flesh, let me get it, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, these chains of darkness, you know, this flesh, right? We do not war after the flesh, okay? Because we know that this is a spiritual war. We're not carnal men, okay? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, to the pulling down of strongholds, okay? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? Let me go into the scripture real quick. Oops. What the hell? Slow down. Was it five? Nope. Ephesians 6 and 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God this is what we use to fight okay this is what we do to stand stand ten tones down those, those, that's our weapon right there this word of Yahweh you know and it's it's That's our weapon right there, Yahweh Shem Shai, the word of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? Battling against the society. For weapons of our warfare are not carnal, okay? The word of Yahweh Shem Shai, Hebrews 4 and 12, gets all up in their joints and marrows and is a discerner of thoughts, sure sure of those intentional in, 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 the intents of your thoughts man okay so while I was out there I realized you know after a minute or two I'm like man this is going nowhere she came up here just like Satan always be sending these chicks by camp in numbers okay you would think I was living in chalk farm, okay? Those who know, know. Numbers beyond numbers. It's beer gal. Each year is, is getting worse. And the clothing that they wear is getting even more thinner, right? So you know this is Satan lurking to try and take Akim out the truth. And you brothers down south in like Miami and Florida and shit, where it's a custom for those girls to walk around like G-strings, right? 
and damn near nipple bras, not even a bra, it's just something covering their nipples, right? You know, Satan be lurking, trying to pull man's out the truth, you know? And he uses that vessel, the weaker vessel, right? So when she came up, she's inquiring about dick, in a sense, basically. Because the way she's looking and holding and trying to steer the conversation and read me, my spidey senses were already alert, right? It wasn't that I entered into her game. She entered into a realm that she don't even know about, okay? Because the scriptures tell you, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1, keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God, the house of Yahweh, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, but they consider not that they do evil, okay? So when he was telling me about that individual too, when he was telling me about all this stuff. Hey, man, shut the hell up. You came up here to inquire about something. You had a question, and the question turned into a story. You don't even consider that you're doing wickedness and evil. But Satan was the one doing all that work, and I saw it. I stood off to the side like, yeah, I see what's up here. Because their conversation is of vanity, worldly shit. Love, God is all love, this, that, JC. Don't even got the right name, coming in a different God. You understand? So I could sense that from time. I'm like, nope. You've entered into the realm of Yahweh Shemi Oshai's word. Get, get, you don't even know what you're doing, okay? So. You know, here it is, we're out here on these highways and byways doing this work, trying to escape the grips of Satan, okay? Falling back into this world. We're not trying to go back into this world. We're trying to, you know, escape the mindset of this world and serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has shown us through the scriptures that, look, this is what's coming down the pipe. Appear yourself. This is what's coming down the pipe, all right? Luke chapter 22 and verse 1. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called Passover. And the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered into Judas, surnamed uh, Salakia. Iscariot, Judas Iscariot, being of the number, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. Okay, so <laughs> the main point here is then Satan entered into Judas. Okay. This also too happened to Saul. All right. This is why you got to understand that you're susceptible. Without the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Oshai upon you, you're susceptible. And remember, we're fighting out here. We're fighting a spiritual battle. Okay. So though it may be though it may seem innocent to you, this may be Satan trying to plant his seed. Okay. Roughly trying to pull you out the truth. Okay. First Samuel chapter 16 and verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, the horn of oil, Salakia, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren talking about David, and the spirit of Yahweh came upon David from that day forward. 
So Samuel rose up and went to Ram Ramah. But the spirit of Yahweh departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from Yahweh troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from Yahweh troubleth thee. Okay? So, remember, Yahweh is the controller of all this. The right and the left hand. He controls. He could sick demons on you. Alright? This is why we have to pray with all supplication, with all begging unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that He don't take His Holy Spirit from us and he, and that we not subjected like Judas to being one sucked out of the truth. Okay? Which really, you know, Akim always say, well, that was one that was really not in the truth. Okay? He may have been in the truth, but he wasn't set up to, to, to uh, stand the test. Okay? And all that work which he did, like the scriptures say, will not be accounted to him. Because here it is, you know, as the proverb go, the, the sow to the mire and the dog to his vomit, he's gone back into the world. He is as a worldly man, okay? Being taught not to do those things and what the love of Yahweh Shem Yahushai is, then he turned back and go into the world it's a shame onto him, man. Okay? Big shame. A big death sentence. Okay? Honestly. So, we pray that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai don't take us out of this truth. Because Satan is out there. Luke, go back to the same scripture. Same uh, chapter. <coughs> Satan is out there sifting. Luke 22 and verse 31. This is why we don't boast, okay? And Yahweh, and the Lord said, and Yahweh Shai said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for, for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Okay? I prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, yo. That's big things right there. Because a lot of these guys are, oh, yeah, yeah, boy, faith. Know the laws, know the laws. Scripture tells us to walk by faith. Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith it's impossible to please him. And much more. But anyways, the main point, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Okay? So when I seen this girl coming up, I said to myself, you know, this Satan giving me my offerings in the world in a sense. Because, you know, that sweet talk, slow, sweet talk, you know, as, as, as a baby in, in, in the arms when you, when you, you know, uh, you know, rocking it to sleep. It's soothing, right? So that's what Satan tried to try to do to me today. Tried to send a chick up with soothing talk, try to rock me to sleep. A little folding hands, a little folding, you know, a little folding heads. Them come on um, a little uh, closing of eyelids, you know. Try to rock me to sleep. Try to get my phone number and pull me off the streets. You know, that's basically it. Because a chick like that, what would happen? You know, I, she want to occupy my time. She always want your buddy, you know. <laughs> she always want the, 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 the rod downtown, all right. She always got a burning desire for you. And, and you know what? Just when you go do the work or get ready to do the work, here it is, this chick calling you up. I need you. I need you. Crying all types of, uh, you know, uh, lies, right? Persuasion and lies. You know, you're trying to get to camp to see the brothers. Now there's another, there's another roadblock. You know what I mean? Let that eye be single. Where your treasure, where your treasure is, that's where your heart's gonna be, right? And we're doing this for Yahweh Hashem Shai, hoping that we're a part of that elect, and understanding the importance of why we're doing this. You know, what we're involved in, what's going on, our surroundings, 
applying these scriptures so we know. Okay? Matthew chapter 4 and 7. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, It is written again, That thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again, the devil taketh him up into exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith the Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy power, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, his angels came and ministered unto him. So, in much sense too, we have to reject the devil, okay? We have to reject him because he's going to come up with these fancy trying ways, okay? He's been sent, the deceiver and the deceived and the deceiver is. So he's going to come with these fancy ways, okay? To try and trick us, try and pull us out the truth with a female, car, job, Whatever it may be, okay? Your children, your woman, women, okay? Friends, you know? Trying to give you friends of the world. You know what I mean? All of that he's going to come with. He's going to offer you cars, house, all of that new job, right? All carnal shit. But Yahweh Shai was saying here to him, look, man, basically in a nutshell, you... Serve me, motherfucker. All right? Because <laughs> according to 1 Corinthians, or Colossians 1 16 and many other scriptures, it goes Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right? So Yahweh Shai is over all of them. So he knows that all of this is his. Revelation 6 and 2. It's going into that as well. So, how could you try to give me a promise of something I already own? All I got to do is take this walk. And that's how, how our mindset has to be against Satan. Here it is, you try to pop up some new idea to us, which is not a new idea. There's nothing underneath the sun that ain't new. That, that, that is new, Salakia. Ain't nothing underneath the sun that's new. So, you come with your old tricks. Right? But the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh by wisdom, we're going to splice right through those things. The word, the word being like a, a, a sword, we're going to cut right through that. Through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So, you know, here it is, they're coming with all these uh, uh, gimmicks onto us. But those gimmicks won't work. Scriptures say if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Well, it's not possible. You're not deceiving us, okay? Because remember, if we're if we're the elect, we're in the hands, and who's in his hands? Thou shalt not snatch, okay? You're not gonna take us out. Of, you, know, you forget about it. Ephesians six and twelve. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood carnality, right, the flesh, the blood, right, carnalness, the body, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, okay, so this is what we're fighting against, okay, as it goes into we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So a lot of individuals forget that one angel on the left-hand side that he used against Job and many others is a worker for him. Like I said, the Lord can sick demons on you. Okay? 
he did it to Saul. As we read back and you know, in Saul, what it tells us that an evil spirit from Yahweh came upon Saul, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's go there real quick again. Who sent the evil spirit? Because we know that, like I said, on his right hand and left hand, he has workers for him. See, but the spirit of Yahweh departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from Yahweh troubled him. So Yahweh sent a spirit to trouble Saul, an evil spirit. Okay? Yep. Let's go to Job. So this is why we tell you individuals, you know, we, we, we see these games. We see these, uh, uh, you know, these tricks that Satan is trying to pull. This is why when brothers are trying to put you in order, making certain videos and certain individuals may get emotional or butthurt about it. It's not there to, you know, throw you off the track. It's there to get you in order to fight against these things spiritually. Job chapter 1 and verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also uh, and Satan came also among them. Okay. So Satan is also too a worker, you know, uh, a son you know, on the left hand side. And he does exactly what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has commanded him to do. Okay? He doesn't skip a beat, he doesn't say no. He doesn't like how they lie to us and say he's warring against, you know, the most high and no. He does exactly what the most high has commanded him to do. First Kings twenty two and verse nineteen. And he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of Yahweh. Slack here. And he said, Hear thou, therefore, the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left hand. Okay? So you have to understand. That the Lord has angels on the right hand and the left. On the right and the left. And they do the bidding. So the Lord says, okay, you know, do this, do that. How's he going? He says, do this, do that. They go and they do the bidding for you. How about Shem Yahushai? Yahushai says, all right, just like in this, you know, a story right here says, who, what are you going to do? He said, I'm going to be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets, right? A, a spirit on the left hand. Not a spirit on the right hand would do that. A spirit on the right hand is created to do righteousness. A spirit on the left hand is created to do wickedness. So Satan is a top angel on the left hand side, created to do the bidding of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai on the left hand side. But when we tell these individuals this, you know, they, they they don't get an understanding of it. They can't understand because what's happened to them, first of all, the Lord's blinded their minds. And second of all, this is what the Lord has set up, okay? Their pastors have lied to them, talking about Satan is warring with God and all this stuff. That's a bold-faced lie, okay? Bullshit. As we see here, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the, the, the king of all hosts, the Lord, Lord and Lords of all hosts. Okay? And then he has his son, second in command. So when you go to Colossians, like I said, Colossians 1 and 16, for by him were all things created. So the Lord mapped it out, gave it unto his sons and his angels. Okay? to go do this work uh creating you know doing the creation going back in all the uh, genesis uh for by him were all things created that are in, that are in heaven and that are in earth 
visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Okay? And Yahweh Shah is above all these spirits created here. Who's talking, man? Slakia. So anyways, let's, let's get back into this. I'm going to close out. Okay. So, seeing, you know, these people, this girl, she didn't even really want the word. She just wanted something else, you know, which attracted another, you know, Satan worshiper. Because both of them are Satan worshippers in my eyes. Because here it is, you calling upon, you know, a different God. Okay. You calling on a different God, man. You're not calling on the right God, okay? You're not calling on your help by Shem Yoshai. You're calling on something else, okay? And the something else that you're calling on, it, you know, we, we're not dealing with that. That's why going into the scriptures tells you that the deceived, Salakia, and with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his, okay? So these, you know... You got to be aware of these uh, uh, agents of Satan sent out there to try and pull you out the truth, okay? And that's exactly what it is. They're trying to, uh, you know, pull me out the truth. Because the way that they came up, well, you know, the way that they came up was like, you know, Satan sent them, right? And that's exactly what it was, man. Because when I check it out, when I look at it and I overview it, you know, in my eyes, I'm saying to myself, Satan send these motherfuckers. This girl came up here. She didn't really, she wasn't really interested in the truth. Okay? She wasn't really interested in the word of Yahweh Hashem Shai. She was more interested in, in getting into, uh, you know, personal things, right? And then this guy came up, said he had a question. But really, he didn't have a question. He was up there in interest in the girl. Okay? But throughout all of that distraction, at least, you know, I got to see one thing that he showed me that was, um, you know, he showed me a picture. And the picture, like I said, had an image in it that looked like Yahweh Shai. Okay? He, you know, he wouldn't understand that. He wouldn't have known that. But I would have known. And I do know. That's why I told him that, hey, that's like the depiction of what we show you, how shy. Because when you look at it, it was a, a, a man in a garment, yo. And the garment that he was wearing had fringes on it, okay? So... And it was a dark-skinned man with a white beard. So, hey. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bah Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation unto the elect. And peace and salutation unto all the Akim. Doing the pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And like I said... Always we were seen lurking. Okay. Just send those distractions up, man. You know, to try and throw you off from pushing the word. But our job is to look for the elect. And that's what we're going to do. So with that, Shalom Akim. Lord willing to the next time. Wah Abad Baba. Shalom.